Hey YouTubers, thanks for tuning in to my channel. It's Carl with The Great Outdoors. I'm gonna come out today and talk a little bit about the necessities to carry on day hikes. I know there's a lot of experienced people, uh, hikers, outdoor enthusiasts that have all their own opinions. This is strictly my own. And today I brought my day bag with me and what I carry on every single hike I go. Uh, my day bag is a 35 liter Zomake Joy of Life. It's very lightweight, it carries a lot. The most important things that I carry with me is water, medical kits, and food. Those are the three essentials, in my opinion, you have to have no matter what. I carry a little bit more than that because uh, I want to be readiness prepared for anything that could happen on the trail. Always take a compass with you. Be aware of your surroundings. Know your area. Take a map if you can, a paper map. Uh, but I always have a compass with me. Uh, this is a sport near. Has all the gimmicks you need. Uh, so fire would be the fourth essential in my opinion. Uh, I don't necessarily have a kit that holds it all together. I just kind of put a couple things together myself. Um, what I have found in this area that is almost flawless is moss from trees. It's just moss that hangs from branches on trees. And uh, I pick it and I collect it and I keep it in a Ziploc bag, stays dry. I also carry little pieces of bark and timber in another pouch. There's other things I carry with that. There's a striker. These are stormproof ECOs. Has a striker on the back. Sealed with rubber gaskets. It even comes with a little flint. That's pretty much what I carry for a fire kit. A lot of people create their own medical kits. I personally didn't create my own medical kit. I purchased one online. This is a Ridge Recon. Uh, this is an extreme medical bag I always carry with me at every, every single hike I've ever been on. Uh, this thing has everything you possibly would need. Trauma kits, um, sewing kits, flashlights, matches, emergency blankets, tourniquets, um, I even threw in another knife. Um, I carry one on my side, I'll show you that here in a little bit. Um, I threw this in there as well because it's light, it's small, it's sharp, razor sharp, and it also has another fire striker. If something were to happen and I lost that one on the trail, I have a secondary. It's a little bit smaller, but it still produces a lot of spark. Um, this is part of my medical kit. Um, I do have scissors in there and everything else you would need. I'm not going to go through the entire medical kit because it's sterile and I don't want to contaminate anything that's wrapped. But there's bandages, there's Tylenol, there's everything you could possibly need in an emergency situation is in this medical bag. And you have to have a medical bag. You have to. Even if you're going in for an hour, a mile in, a mile out. Um, you got to have this. You can slip and fall, land on a rock, slice you open, get punctured by a stick. This is going to help you through all of those situations. Um, got to have a medical bag, guys. It's very, very important. Uh, water would be another essential item. Um, what I carry is a 3 liter um, Osprey Hydraulics. Um, I carry this on every hike I go to. I do fill it to the max every single time. I always carry additional water. I usually carry a canteen or a bottled water with me. Now I drink that first. This is kind of my reservoir. I always carry other water means. Um, and it's in a little rucksack. There's a lot in here, but it weighs ounces. I'm talking about, I don't even know I have it with me. Um, I have live straws in here, uh, purification tablets, um, 
other means of bags to filter water up to probably three more liters just in this little light sack weighs nothing but this is an emergency cases guys so we've covered medical we've covered water um, in my medical bag there, there's not really a, a shelter per se but I do have means of wrapping myself with emergency blankets I have several of those in here I can provide cover over my head if it's raining um, some sort of shelter as well as in here um, so that kind of covers that um, what I haven't covered today so far is food typically I just take snacks with me on longer hikes I will take uh, hydrated foods um, I don't have any of that to show you today I'll put that in the description below what I normally carry I do eat like to eat out there you know and and, and um, eat while I hike it's just fun to, to have that experience in nature so along with that you need a cooking method this is a very cheap affordable method and it works extremely well uh, for cooking I can boil water in just a few minutes with this it's a little stove it's amazing I've used this thing several times already just one tank I've already burned four different meals with and there's probably a good four or five other meals that I can cook with one tank they take a little room they're a little bulky but is definitely a go-to must-have on the trail that covers uh, you know the four basics uh, that I've already mentioned I carry all that stuff with me on every single hike um, you got to have a way to cook your food as well so I always carry this as well this is my cooking pot um, it's very cost-effective and it's amazing it's a two-pot system um, I can hold a, about a half a liter in here and boil enough water to drink on if I have to it all fits in together um, I have a little saute pan I've used this several times um, to cook with and I mean that's a big enough for one person you could probably feed two people on this if you had to um, but it's definitely big enough to cook a meal two to three servings at a time easily um, this is what I typically use to boil my water with um, most of the time I'll use my own but if I have you know a way to retrieve water from the river or streams I will definitely do so and boil it and it's very important to boil your water for at least five minutes to kill all the bacteria you, you don't want to get sick while you're hiking and start puking or have diarrhea and to get dehydrated so you have to boil your water um, for a long enough time to kill all those bacteria. Uh, this is what I carry for my eating um, I think they call it a spork it's a spoon and a, and a, and a fork in one it fits together kind of reminds me of a Swiss Army knife but it's a spoon and a fork it does have a little blade in there uh, but this is what I use go to must have I gotta have a way to eat and if you have to stay overnight or you're in a situation where you have to have a fire to stay warm um, you need a way to cut wood it's a folding saw it's very lightweight you don't even know you have it with you a Laplander I'll post all my items in the description below so you know exactly what I'm carrying uh, but this is a go-to in my opinion um, got to have a way to cut wood and it locks into place you're not gonna it's not gonna fold over and hurt yourself while you're sawing uh, but you can saw trees down with this if you have to it is additional weight all these things do add up uh, but all these things are essential in my opinion uh, another thing I carry on every single hike these weigh only ounces but it's a full rain suit jacket and pants um, I will not get wet with this maybe a little bit but it's gonna save you from being soaked and everything becoming extremely heavy I always carry one luxury item and you know I, I'm a firm like I said I'm a firm believer in being prepared for almost everything you know and if you, you get hurt and you don't have anybody else out there and you're nine miles in the wilderness or six miles in the wilderness you're gonna have to wait until you get some help um, even if you can put out a, a search signal a lot of places use towers you can 911 text about anywhere around here 
but it's still gonna take them several hours to find you and get to your location. So you want something, in my opinion, you want something that's gonna be comfort to you. It's from Outdoors Vital, ultra light pillow. This thing weighs like three ounces, guys. A lot of this gear, you don't have to check the functionality of it. Um, it's just something that is always important to have with you. Um, another thing that I carry every single time I go out is my knife. I keep this on my hip at all times, even when I'm not hiking most of the time. Uh, it's an open carry state, so there's no reason why I cannot have this. You never know when you're going to need a knife. Um, this is my Burkimo Bushcrafting Tops 3000. It's a very efficient blade. It's sturdy, it's heavy, it's thick. It has a very sharp edge. I can chop with this, I can carve with this, I can slice with this. And I use this everywhere I go when I'm cooking, slicing onions, you know, cooking, my, preparing my meals, um, gathering uh, wood, sticks, I use this for a lot of different things, guys, and um, it's good to have a nice uh, knife. I chose a more of a bush crafting style, um, so I can carve my own spoons if I had to, if I didn't carry anything with me. Um, so that's my knife. It comes in a hard case. Um, it snaps in. I don't know if you can hear it. It will not fall out. Okay. Uh, the clip. Is a metal clip. I don't particularly like the metal. I would rather have a swivel leather. It would be a little bit more comfortable, but I do like the fact that it's stationary wherever I have it on my belt. Uh, it rotates to whatever position you want it. Um, this is uh, very important to have no matter where you go. Um, in my opinion, I would believe this to be another necessity. So that would take my necessities to five of all the items that I carry with me. This is from Top Knives. Um, they sent it when I bought my, my bushcrafting knife. It came with a whistle. This thing is extremely loud. It's high pitch frequency and it doesn't take a lot of air um, to use this thing. You know, it'd be another deterrent uh, to scare a black bear away. Um, they're all, they are out here. I have seen them. Um, you know, they're, they're friendly creatures, but that was just a very low blow. I don't want to be alarming if in case someone does hear that. But this is extremely loud when you really put some air into it. I always have that strapped to my bag. Always. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's what I carry on an everyday hike. I uh, appreciate you guys for viewing um, this video. And if you like it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you would like to. I'll be, I will be producing many videos. Um, I plan on doing another video soon on a lot of all the gear that I have um, But I wanted to kind of show you guys uh, the, the importance and, and what it's in what items I feel you have to have on a trail So stay safe out there guys and happy trails